you can share slides like this in your next video conference. In this video, you will learn how to create this scene step by step in the free OBS Studio and its virtual camera. You can use this setup for Zoom, for Teams, for Google Meet, or any other application that uses a webcam. The main benefit of sharing slides like this is that it makes it easier for you to engage your audience because the slide is not taking up the entire screen like it usually does when you're just screen sharing on Zoom. If you want to switch layouts like this or like this, then stick around to the end of the video. You can jump between the different sections of this video with the chapters on the timeline. And in the description below this video, there's links to everything I'm talking about. Step number one is to download OBS Studio. OBS Studio is a free and open source video production studio, and it has three main functions. The first one is to create live streams, and I often use it on my channel to live stream. The second one is to record video, and especially if you want to record your own screen, OBS Studio is a great tool. And the third one is the virtual camera, which allows you to bring whatever you create inside of OBS Studio into any other application that uses a webcam, for example, Zoom or Teams. And that's the feature that we're going to be using here. Download OBS Studio completely for free with the link in the description below. Step number two is to create this scene inside of OBS Studio. So let's jump into OBS Studio and I'm going to show you how to do it step by step. You'll be able to use this setup in less than 10 minutes if you follow along. When you first install OBS Studio, all you will see is this black screen. It looks a bit intimidating, but let's add a camera to make it a little bit more personal. The way I add a camera is that I go into my sources section here and click plus. And then uh, I'm going to click on video capture device. And as soon as I do, I'm going to uh, get this dialog box. I can just click OK here. Then I can choose my camera from the box that comes up here. And this is a list of all the cameras that I have. I am going to use the EOS webcam utility. And just click OK. And now we have added the camera to our scene. The first thing I want to do is that I want to make it fill the whole screen so I can just grab it right there uh, and now it fills the whole screen remember what we wanted to have the camera fill only half the screen so i'm going to move it over a little bit to the to the right there something like that and then we're going to put the slides right here on the left hand side uh, so let's do that in just a moment but maybe this is a good opportunity to give you a little tour of obs studio now that we have the camera here as well on the bottom left hand side we have the list of the different scenes we're only going to be using one scene but if you want to switch between different views this is where you would create your scenes more about that later this block here the sources has all the different input sources that we're going to use so we're going to add the slides we already added the camera and we're also going to add the background in here most of the other elements of obs studio you don't really have to worry about at this stage so let's add the slides as our second element i'm going to click on the plus button here in the sources group and for this i am going to click on image slideshow once again i'm just going to click ok on this box right here and now it's going to ask me where do i want to uh, get my slides from i'm going to go into the section here called image files click on plus and then i'm going to add a directory because i have prepared a little demo directory for this presentation and I'm going to talk a little bit more about how that works, but I'm going to click on select folder. And now you see that the slides that I had in my demo pack are showing up here. But you may also note that they are automatically cycling every eight seconds because there's 8000 milliseconds in this field here. So if I want to stop the automatic cycling, I am going to just click on this menu and pick that as manual instead. So now I can click OK to add them to my scene. And remember, we want to have them a little bit smaller, so I can just grab them like so and just pull them to the side here. So that's approximately, that's approximately what we want. To cycle between the sides, I can click on these buttons right here in the center. And once it gets to the end, there we go. We are uh, back to the beginning. I prefer to bind these two keyboard shortcuts. More about that later as well. So now we're already looking pretty good. And if I'm happy with the position of that uh, slide right there and the camera, I'm just going to click the little lock icon on both. The last element I want to add is the background. For this, I'm going to use a color source. I'm going to click on the plus icon here and then color source. Once again, just click OK on this box. 
And I'm going to pick that a nice martini olive color as my color source and click OK. Once again, it fills up the whole screen. And it, now I want to place it so that it only fills half the screen. So I can move this around, right? Uh, so let's say that I want to fill, I want to cover a bit of the camera like so. So I'm going to place the background there, but now it's above the slides. So in order for me to move this to below the slides, I just have to click the color source there and then the down arrow. And now it is below the slides. We have now created our scene inside of OBS Studio. So let's move over to step number three, which is to bring it over with the virtual camera into a video conferencing software. The first step that you need to do is to start the virtual camera. Just click on start the virtual camera. In the next step, I'm gonna jump over to Zoom and I'm gonna activate it there so you see how it works. Now it's time to pick the virtual camera as our input device in our video conferencing software. I'm doing this in Zoom and I'm going to click the settings wheel up here on the top right and then go into video. You can see here that I will have a list of the different cameras that I have on my system and one of them is the OBS virtual camera. It is in fact already selected. Here are the other cameras that I have. So just select the OBS virtual camera and it will be your camera in Zoom. One power tip for you though, I recommend switching off this setting here, mirror my video. Usually it's switched on. Most people like to have it like this, but because uh, we are bringing text with slides from the virtual camera, it looks better to you if they are the right side up. Even if you don't select this in Zoom, it will still look correct to the audience. This only controls what you see. As you saw in this video, I'm using the built-in image slideshow functionality in OBS. You may be wondering why are you not using PowerPoint instead? You can certainly use PowerPoint as well. It's a little bit more complicated, but you can do it. Check out my separate video about how to use PowerPoint for this setup by clicking the link here above me. I prefer to use the built-in image slideshow because it's super easy and super flexible to use. But let me share one power tip about the files that you're gonna be using in your slideshow. I'm going to click on the image slideshow here in my sources and then go to properties. I'm going to show you the files that I'm using. I'm going to click on plus and add file. This is what, how you would add an individual file to your slideshow. This will actually show me the files that I'm using. So you can see here that these are ordered as A1, B1, B2, C1, and they are ordered like that, they are named like that because that determines the order in which they are shown. So this is going to be the first slide, second slide, third slide, fourth slide. Uh, the image slideshow uses an alphabetical order to determine in which order they're going to be shown on the screen. As you saw in this setup, we only used three components to build up this scene. The webcam, the image slideshow and the background. You can add so many other things into OBS. And as you start getting more comfortable with it, I encourage you to experiment. Maybe you will end up building multiple different scenes for your video conferencing setup. Let me show you my standard setup. I'm gonna go into OBS and I'm gonna pick one of the other scene collections that I have here. And after it loads for a little bit, you can see that uh, this is actually the full setup that I'm using. And what I'm able to do here is I'm able to switch slides uh, quickly back and forth. I can also put my slides full screen with the camera and I also have one scene where there's only a slide. I can bring back the camera and go back to my webcam only. The power of this is that it makes your scenes a lot more dynamic and it's less boring to look at a scene where things actually change around a little bit. If you would like to copy and paste my scenes, you can do so. I made it available as a digital download. Just use the link in the description below or go to marcuspresents.com slash OBS. Let me share a bonus tip about using keyboard commands. In the standard setup, you just click these buttons right here for the next slide, next slide, or for the previous slides. Um, which is fair enough, but I prefer to bind these to keyboard shortcuts. So let me show you how to do that. Uh, down here on the bottom right corner of OBS, there's the button called settings. I'm gonna click on that settings button. And then on the left-hand side, we have these hotkeys. And um, if you scroll down to, towards the bottom here, the image slideshow controls are gonna be in this section here. So if I wanna have uh, a 
keyboard command for next slide, I just click in this area here, this box, and then I click the, or then I press the keyboard command that I want to use. So for example, if I want to have control six on the numeric keypad as my next uh, slide command, I can do that. And maybe I want to have control numeric four as my previous slide. That's all I have to do. And then now I can just press those buttons on the keyboard instead. And the cool thing about this is that these keyboard commands, they also work when you don't have OBS as the active window. So for example, if I'm in my Zoom meeting and I press these commands, it is going to advance the slide. And this is the main reason why I prefer to use image slideshow and not PowerPoint. Because if I'm using PowerPoint, then I have to be in PowerPoint to control it. With this setup, I can control it from outside of OBS. Keyboard commands are actually super powerful in OBS Studio. And let me switch back to my standard video conferencing setup that has all these multiple scenes. In this setup, I've actually made it so I can switch between this view, this view, I can go to this view, or this one, all with keyboard commands. If you buy my digital download scene collection, it comes with keyboard shortcuts for all of them. It also includes these scene transitions, these animated scene transitions, which are actually not part of the standard OBS setup. All of that is included. Just use the link below or go to marcuspresents.com slash OBS. If you want to improve your video conferencing even more, click or tap the screen right here. That's my full playlist of video conferencing tips. We cover audio, lighting, and how to engage better with your audience. So check out that playlist and I will see you in the next video.